places that we've gone over the last 10 years and just living life, there's a common theme in the heart of every breathing human. We all want to change. We all know we need change. But the place where we get it mixed up is that we feel like we have to do it all at once. And I know tonight, you know, we they normally have redemption here, which is 12-step recovery kind of program. And you know what? We're all in recovery from something, that's for sure. So it's great to come on out and uh, have a good fellowship and all that good stuff. But hold on, I lost my train of thought. No new drugs, kids. <laughs> Yes. We all try to change it in one big swoop. And it's overwhelming and usually we fall on our faces. And the fact of the matter is, what I've learned in my life is that as I bring my life to the foot of the cross, just one day at a time, I've been reading Matthews 5 and 6 for months now. Matthew 5 and 6, Jesus teaches us how to pray. And he reminds us not to worry about the things of this world because as we lean on him, he shows up and provides. And then the very last verse, it says, don't worry about tomorrow for today has enough worries of its own. And the moment that I realized that probably six months ago, I started living for today peace came into my life. Because the thought of having to change everything, the thought of having so much to overcome was a heavy weight. And so we just want to remind you, you know, the, the, my life verse, one of them, there's many, but <clears throat> it's Romans 12 and it says this. It says, don't be conformed to the world. Don't be like everybody else, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And I guess here's the, here's the point. New Living's translation says, let God change the way you think. You see, as we bring our lives to Christ and we lay them down one day at a time, and we open up God's word and we begin to read and we begin to seek God's face, God's spirit, his word, his power comes into our lives and it changes us from who we were, who we are, to who he wants us to be. And I'm not, that's how I found that I change. It's not just one fine, you know, one big swoop. It's just little by little as God's truth and God's word gets into my life. My thoughts and my mind becomes new. And my actions and my life changes. So we just want to encourage you that no matter where you find yourself, God's not mad at you tonight. The Bible says, in fact, that every day his mercy is new. So let bygones be bygones. Tonight, remember that it doesn't matter where you are, what you've done. You walked into this place tonight. God's mercy is here. His grace is overflowing. We just get to receive it because of the blood of Jesus. Now, this next song is called Broken Man. And if you're married, this is usually when your wife would nudge you and say, Mm-hmm. But anyway, we're going to play it for you. <laughs>
To make it on my 